Welcome back. Heart disease is the number one killer in America. So to raise awareness and to learn more about how the organ functions, of course, we brought in Dr. Mark Gilanov from the Cleveland Clinic. And look at this, the mega heart for medical inflatables. This thing is huge. How big is this? Way bigger than normal. I mean, <laughs> people say he's got a big heart. <laughs> Definitely not this big. So like not this big. feet or something. This is huge. Yeah. So this is very important. So what are we seeing on the outside? This is the outside of the heart, and what we're seeing is muscle. This is the part of the heart that beats, that squeezes and pumps blood. And what we are also seeing are blood vessels. So let me tell you what a heart attack is. This is an artery that gives blood flow to the heart. If this artery gets suddenly blocked like that, no blood flow goes to this part of the muscle. And that means no blood flow, some muscle dies. So right here, that's an area of muscle that died from a heart attack. Wow. And we're going to go inside the heart, and then I'm going to tell you how to prevent a heart attack. So let's okay. go on inside the heart. All right. It, it, it's very interactive for those yeah. who maybe have never seen this. I mean, it's got the wow factor, that's for sure. We wow, are right now that. inside the right atrium. Blood comes from your body through your vena cava into the right atrium and passes through the tricuspid valve, which looks a little bit like this. The valves are like doors in the heart. Okay. From the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Yeah. The right ventricle pumps blood to your lungs, and the right ventricle's got electrical activity. It does not have lights in it, but it does pace your heart. If you have a pacemaker, you have electricity going into the right ventricle that paces your heart with wires from a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. So the right ventricle pumps to the lungs. Now we're gonna pass through something that's not supposed to be here. This is a hole in the heart. Uh-oh. This is called a ventricular septal defect. Not normal. Some babies are born with it. Why do we have it here? Yeah. So that Christy and I can get to the other side of the heart. Okay. Yeah, so this is built for us. Okay. Not supposed to be here. <laughs> I could have used it a little taller. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. It's All fine right. for my height. Right, right, right. Yeah. So where are we at now? The left ventricle. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We went from the right ventricle to the left ventricle. Okay. When you say, I pledge allegiance, and you feel your heart beating, you are feeling this one, the left ventricle. The left ventricle is the chamber that squeezes really hard and sends the blood out to the body through the aortic valve. The aortic valve is like the door or gate between the heart and the rest of your body. All the blood goes through the aortic valve. To get into the left ventricle, uh -huh. blood must come through the mitral valve first. This is your mitral valve. A lot of people, women more than men, actually have mitral valve prolapse. That means one of the flaps is a little bit floppy if that valve leaks, this is my favorite thing to do. I can fix that valve. I can repair valves. Some people can repair cars. I can fix valves. <laughs> I'm going to keep you yeah. around. <laughs> so let's go outside okay, the heart outside. again. Now, what's a, a way prevention? We know that February is Heart Health Month. So what are ways that people can prevent from coming to see you? Well, this is, this is bad for business, but I'm going to tell you how to keep your heart healthy, which actually is the real business, keeping healthy. The single most important thing every one of us can do is exercise 30 minutes a day. If you exercise, you keep this heart healthy, you keep your arteries clean. 30 minutes, it can be three 10 minute segments, just 30 minutes a day. Yeah. And Does diet play a role as well? Diet plays a big role in two different ways. Um, one way diet plays a role is don't eat too much. If you get overweight, you get diabetes, other problems, and you get heart disease. Yeah. Second thing is limit saturated fats. Okay. And then the third biggie, for heart health is don't smoke. We're still looking at about 20%. 20% of all adults smoke. Smoking kills those arteries and causes heart attacks. What an experience to go through this. Yeah, it's Who pretty amazing. Walk through a, a heart? You know, I mean, uh, this is at medical uh, places where you can yeah, rent are, this. You could rent this for what, different meetings and yeah, such? Yeah, these you, are on display throughout the world. Thousands and thousands of people have learned wow. about the heart. I know my kids would love they would just love to go through this thing. It'd yeah, be, be fun. fun. Or jump on the top. Yeah, it's a little bit like a bouncy house, yeah. <laughs> but it's got some uh, special health characteristics. Okay, I do want to mention, Dr. Mark, stay tuned because there's going to be a special clinic, Love Your Heart version, on New Day Cleveland, which will be coming up right after Fox 8 News in the morning at 10 o'clock if you want to get some more information. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Oh, my pleasure. Always good to see you. All Likewise. right, we're going to put that on our website. More Fox 8 when we come back.